It's been a magical 15 years. Seven Harry Potter books, eight movies, 450 million copies sold. Not bad for a book that was rejected by many publishers and had an initial print run of just 500. I'm going to go straight upstairs to my bedroom and start reading. And then um, I'm, I'm going to ask my mum not to talk to me until like, my dinner's ready because I want to read it so much. J.K. Rowling wrote a lot of the first book in this cafe in Edinburgh. They used to let me sit here for two hours at a time with one cold coffee and write, just write like fury. Little did she know how popular Harry Potter would become, that she'd write more than a million words about the young wizard and his friends at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Books that children queued into the night to get hold of. Harry Potter! We came especially for this. We, my best friend and I have been planning this since fourth grade. At one point, London's King's Cross Station even got a temporary platform nine and three quarters. The Harry Potter author catching the Hogwarts Express, just like Harry and his fellow pupils. Obviously, I'm recognised sometimes when people come up to me on the street. Along the way, the fictional Harry, imagined by millions of children, got a face, Daniel Radcliffe joined in the films by Emma Watson and Rupert Grint. Millions of us have watched these young stars grow up as their characters grew. It's been like more than half my life and uh, all I've ever known really. J.K. Rowling's books have inspired a generation of children. They flocked to hear her read about their hero. The two men appeared out of nowhere, a few yards apart in the narrow, moonlit lane. For a second, they stood quite still, wands direct. Potter fans know all about Muggles, Quidditch, and going to Hogwarts with Harry on Pottermore. And now, to celebrate the last 15 years, Bloomsbury is looking for the biggest ever Harry Potter fan. Is that you?